Never in doubt. <laughs> that was for the bra fans that braved the icy roads of Denver, Colorado. We wanted to put on a show, and that was an incredible game. It really was exciting. Big plays on both ends. Uh, it was like a shootout at the OK Corral. Nobody could get a stop. Uh, but guys are just amazing. And you tell me, if Nikola Jokic is, isn't the MVP, then who is? That guy can beat you with his passing, his scoring, his rebounding. Uh, and that last pass to Aaron not only wins a game, but gives him his 10th assist on the night. Um, so, and, and, and I want to say Monte Morris was incredible tonight. 19-9-9. Uh, nine and nine. Um, Aaron Gordon, 28. And obviously a huge uh, game-winning three. And, uh, you know, Davon Reed learned a valuable lesson tonight. And he's just lucky that Reggie Jackson's shot did not go in to end the game. I'll open it up for questions. <laughs> No, and, and you know, sometimes, like, you know, you, you, you see a great player will his team to a win. And uh, it was like a chess match out there. You know, we're, we're trying to put certain guys in the action on their team. They're going at certain guys on our team. Who's going to get enough stops? But, yeah, I mean, Nicola, uh, 16 of 25 from the field, uh, 14 of 16 from the foul line, 14 boards, 10 assists, three steals, one block. He was our defensive player of the game. He came up with a huge steal late. Amante got the, uh, the basket. Um, and, and that's just why Nicola is, you know, again, for me, the MVP. Um, he's going to give it to you every, every way, every way. And it's so much fun watching him. And when he gets excited and he's banging his chest and he's screaming, man, I love that. Uh, I love to see an engaged, emotional Nikola Jokic. Uh, and, and for us to be where we are right now, Chris, uh, obviously, Nicola is a huge, huge part of that. So, um, three and one on this homestand. Got a really, really talented team coming in here the, uh, in two days, Memphis. Um, so, we just got to continue to try to protect our home court the best we can. Michael, I was going to ask, you know, Nicola had that primal scream at half court after he throws the pass to Aaron in the corner. Like, I mean, how, how, how much fun is it to see that emotion? And what does it show you when he shows that, reveals that level of engagement, investment, and just emotion? Well, to me, it shows me how much he cares. You know what I mean? Like, here, here's a reigning MVP um, on a team with, you know, arguably your second and third best players out to injury for a, a long time. Um, and Nicole will just say, hey, man, all right, we got more than enough. Let's go out here and fight and compete. Uh, so when you see him with that kind of emotion, for me, the most important aspect of that is Nikola Jokic cares. And I think that's a wonderful thing. He's not just showing up to play the game. He cares about this team, his teammates, uh, our fans, this city, this organization. Uh, and, and for him to do it just night in and night out, you, you guys understand how much attention he's getting on the defensive end. Like this guy is getting double and triple teamed every night. He had 49 points tonight. Getting doubled and triple teamed. I mean, so... Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I feel really fortunate as a head coach to have the opportunity to coach a player like that, not just because of the talent, but because of who he is as a man. Uh, and, and I think we all take great satisfaction in that. 16 free throw attempts, is that more right? Yeah, so, yeah something, uh, the moon was right tonight. Uh, as a team, 25, but Nicola getting there 16 times, um, I think was terrific. Uh, I thought the referees, I'm not saying this because we got to the foul on as much, but, you know, just willing to engage in conversation and hear me out all night long. As a head coach, I can't appreciate that more than anything. Like, that's all you ever want is to have the ability to have a conversation, make your points, um, and have them hear you. And, and, and I felt, you know, they, they, they did a great job, and Nicola warranted those 16 free throws. So, um, but, you know, we played the Clippers three times, and all three games have been barn runners. Um, and, and tonight, the second quarter was a rough quarter. We shortened up the rotation in the second half. Our starters played a ton of minutes, but, you know, uh, that's what we needed to do to win the game tonight. And, uh, you know, job, job, mission accomplished. Well, you talked about Aaron doing the thankless work of fighting through a pick and roll night after night, and I think you did some of that again tonight when you were trying to pull down Reggie Jackson. But just how, how pleased were you for him to have that moment? Oh, so pleased. You know what I mean? Like uh, Aaron put so much time in this summer, this off season. He puts the time in now during the season. Uh, you know, he's got, he just built a gym over by where he lives. 
know, so he's literally you know, like shooting the ball at nighttime. He's waking up, going to the gym. Like this guy is a gym rat. And for him to um, have the game winning three on, a, on an unbelievable pass from Nicola as he's being double teamed, um, you just feel happy for Aaron. You know, it's uh, Nicola gets so much credit, understandably so. But, you know, we don't win this game without Aaron Gordon, Monte Morris, Will, Jeff, all the guys off the bench and uh, a game winning three. You know, th those are th th those are big, big uh, moments and big, big shots. And Aaron wasn't scared. It was more lines of a beep, 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 beep. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to do that. You know, I, I think people don't realize when you're a head coach, man, like uh, you can't be afraid to be an asshole. You know, you can't be afraid to jump guys when it needs. You, know, you can't do it every day. It's a long season. But in that moment, uh, they had scored literally four layups to start that third quarter. And I challenged them. You know, in so many words, I challenged him, Harrison. And to our guys' credit, um, what I love about our team is, you know, oh, Malone rips his players. No, I'm just honest sometimes. I don't think that's ripping. I think that's being honest. Um, and I think our players are mature enough to, to sometimes own it. You know what I mean? Just like I, I own it if I mess up. So uh, our players responded, which is what you want to see, and we competed. And, and from that point in time, I felt the rest of that third quarter went our way. Uh, we became the aggressor. We became the more physical team, and you know that's what you need, and uh, and it paid off tonight. Thank you, All right, thanks everybody. Hey, get on. Bad roads are bad, so be safe. Tell Mike Singer he's got no worry.